Edwards Air Force Base, a place with a rich history of flight testing advances. Established in the Western Mojave Desert because of the area's unique blend of wide open spaces, clear skies, and abundant land, the base covers about 480 square miles of mostly intact desert habitat, an environment we are dedicated to conserve and required by law to maintain, so our military mission is sustainable into the future. Most of the impacts to the landscape take place in developed areas such as base housing, Air Force Research Laboratory, and the flight line. However, most remote areas such as the Precision Impact Range Area, Rogers Dry Lake Bed, roads, and utility corridors may also be impacted. This wildland urban interface is where people and nature meet. Numerous federal and state laws and regulations guide the way construction, maintenance, and mission operation activities must be accomplished. Air quality, water quality, and pollution prevention requirements must be met. Cultural resources must be protected, and plant and animal species and their habitats must be conserved. Violations could result in fines, jail time, or even restrictions of testing operations. The environmental impact analysis process determines the best action to protect the environment and get the job done. Minimization measures, included with every mission activity approval, detail requirements on how to accomplish your job while ensuring compliance with environmental laws and regulations. One federal natural resource protection requirement affecting all of Edwards is a biological opinion for operations and activities on Edwards Air Force Base regarding the protection of the desert tortoise. It outlines various mitigation measures that must be adhered to. The Mojave population of the desert tortoise, a federal and state threatened species, is a large land plant-eating reptile found in portions of the California, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah deserts. The desert tortoise is considered an indicator species with respect to the health of the desert ecosystem. In general, desert tortoises are most active during spring and early summer when annual plants are growing and again in the fall as the males search for mates. However, tortoises may be found above ground during other seasons in pleasant weather and around rainstorm events. Desert tortoises spend much of their existence in burrows to escape extreme desert weather conditions. The desert tortoise can be found most anywhere on base. The majority of human-caused tortoise deaths occur when vehicles collide with tortoises on roadways or when a parked vehicle is moved and a sheltering tortoise is run over. Always look under your vehicle before moving it. It is illegal for anyone other than an authorized biologist to harass, touch, or move a tortoise unless it is in immediate danger. However, if a tortoise is found on a busy roadway, and you determine it could be injured if not moved, move the tortoise out of harm's way as long as doing so does not put you at risk of injury. Approach the tortoise from the front. Gently lift it with two hands while holding it level and place it 100 feet off the road, in the shade, and in the direction it was heading. Be sure to contact environmental management whenever a tortoise is seen or moved. The Desert Tortoise Handout describes in detail how to protect the tortoise and should be posted at job sites and provided to all delivery drivers and subcontractors coming onto base. Mitigation measures for protecting desert tortoises include complying with all minimization measures included in the project approval package, training of all contract personnel working at project sites regarding tortoises, survey of work sites by authorized biologists prior to ground disturbing activities, avoiding burrows, remaining on roads and in designated staging areas, following road paths flagged off by authorized biologists, keeping speeds on dirt roads below 10 miles per hour, ramping, covering, or fencing trenches or holes, checking open excavations three times a day, raising stored pipes at least 12 inches off the ground, disposing of waste in raven-proof containers, Preventing water puddling that attracts wildlife, including tortoise predators such as ravens and coyotes. Maintaining natural water flows to prevent flooding tortoise burrows. Revegetating lands once ground disturbance is complete. And implementing biohazard controls such as cleaning vehicles, equipment and boots to prevent the spread of non-native plants. Migratory birds are protected by the Federal Migratory Bird Treaty Act. 
Over 300 species of birds have been seen on base. Nests should not be disturbed or removed while eggs or baby birds are present. Nesting season generally runs from February through August. Other animals seen on base include sidewinders and Mojave rattlesnakes, both venomous snakes, black widow spiders and small scorpions, mildly venomous, coyotes, bobcats and badgers, mammalian predators, Mojave ground squirrels and burrowing owls, state protected species, Native desert plants, plant communities, and habitats include Joshua tree woodlands, honey mesquite bosques, creosote bush scrub, salt bush scrub, dry lake beds and playas. The desert landscape, while rugged, is also very fragile. It can withstand extreme temperatures and drought, but can take over 100 years to recover from habitat disturbance. Joshua trees can be hundreds of years old, while creosote bushes can be thousands of years old. Edwards Air Force Base is committed to providing a premier testing environment now and into the future. With your help, we can make it happen.